In this video, you're going to learn the only prompt that you will ever need. No prompt engineering, no complex prompting techniques, none of that stuff. Just one simple prompt and that's it. With that one prompt, you can generate the best possible outcome with every large language model. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that we need to look at are obviously all the frameworks. No, I'm just kidding. So there are obviously all of these prompting frameworks and there are so many different things you could consider when writing the perfect prompt. But none of that is going to be relevant for this video because I'm certain that this one prompt is outperforming any of the other techniques that you have ever looked at. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing is that we need to answer four questions and that's it. So how does it work? Well, basically you need to answer four questions. Number one, what do you want to achieve? Number two, what details can you give about yourself, about the goal, about what you have available in order to achieve the thing? Then what are the rules or limitations? So the constraints. So basically, do you want the answer not to contain certain things or mustn't contain certain things? And then the last one is what should the output look like? So what should the format or the style of the output be? And to make it even simpler, you could actually even omit all of those three. So let me show you. The first thing that you need to do is you need to answer the question, what do I want to achieve? So let's say I want to build a small business that generates 10K dollars a month. Okay, that might be your goal. But now comes the important part. You need to add that to every prompt if you want to get the best possible outcome. So you just say, ask me a bunch of questions that will help you help me achieve my goal. Okay. And just to be sure at don't try to answer the question straight away without required details. Okay. And with that, ChatGPT does some thinking and this works with any large language model. So you can use that for any of them. So what you will get are a bunch of questions. So here, do you already have any specific idea or industry in mind? What products or services do you plan to offer? And why do you think they will succeed? Who is your ideal customer? Have you identified a niche or specific market segment where you can stand out? And so forth. So you see, you get a bunch of questions here and it seems like it's 20 questions. So 10 sections are each has two questions. So by answering those 20 questions, you will get the perfect result for your question and perfect plan, so to speak, for your objective. All right. So let me answer all of those questions and show you the result. All right. So I took the time to now answer all of these questions. And interestingly enough, you will come across the situation very likely that there are questions which you cannot answer. Either you don't know because you have no experience in the field that you want to work towards or you don't know yet because there are two options and you haven't decided which option to go with. So either way, you can just do the following. So for example, the target market, who is your ideal customer? Well, I can just say, I don't know. Help me find with additional questions. So it will then go and create questions. Number two, have you identified a niche or a specific market segment where you can stand out? And I can also say, not yet, help me. And then there is another one down here, which is really interesting. So whenever you have no idea in 6B, for example, so what logistical or operational changes do you anticipate and how do you plan to address them? Well, if you have no idea, just tell it. And then once you have answered all of those questions to your best possibilities, just send it out. And once you do the sending out, it will come up with a bunch of new questions based on the areas where you are uncertain because it wants to answer all of these questions in order to help you achieve your goal. And that's really the beauty. So we are using a mix of chain of thought and that we get here through this reasoning and our own chain of thought. Because by using this approach, you not only craft this perfect prompt that you would otherwise craft where you have to think for hours to come up with this perfect pr uh, prompt, but instead what we are doing is we are exposing ourselves to questions and real challenges that will help us to see flaws in our plan and our thing that we wanted to achieve that we didn't even think of. And that's really an insanely valuable thing to have. So then it keeps going and keeps helping us with some more questions. So you see a few more questions 
and I'm going to answer them to my best capability and I'm going to share the final result. This time I'm just going to give answers where it's actually going to give me a final output that I can work with and not some more questions. So let me quickly do that. All right, so at this point I answered all the questions that ChatGPT exposed me to and then I get my response here. I didn't specifically tell what style I wanted to be, so it just created a quick summary of the thoughts based on my responses. So here's my target audience and niche. Here's the course content and differentiation, the marketing and content strategy, operational and growth plans, as well as next steps to consider. So here it gives me specific advice as to what I should do next. And then it asks me whether the plan aligns with my vision and whether there are any further areas I'd like to explore or I have further complaints. So this response is going to be significantly more on point than anything that I could have come up with with one individual perfectly crafted prompt where I have to think about all the things that are to, well, to be considered in creating such a business plan, okay? So I could go ahead and say, all right, now give me a business plan as well as a step-by-step -step instruction how to move forward. And there we are. So it's gonna reason a little bit and I'm going to get a really easy to follow instruction with a really good business plan that I can work with and so forth. And with that, you have the perfect prompt for any challenge that you come across, for anything that you want to achieve. I can tell you that these responses are drastically better than anything that you can build with a perfectly crafted prompt. And by the way, if you want to learn more about this, then join my school community. It's for free, so it's this AI Academy community where you not only get access to course content, but also to really cool creatives that you can print out or that you can just use whenever you're working with AI and when you want to understand AI content a little better. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please leave a like as well as write me in the comments what you want to know next and subscribe because you don't want to miss my other videos. So thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.